NBC News analyst Howard Feynman had to delete a picture he posted on Twitter, which featured himself with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer at a party thrown by Maureen Dowd. <laughs> and the reason why he had to delete it is because he claims he was viciously ratioed. I just don't understand deleting tweets. Yeah. Uh -huh. They've seen it already, bro. Like you've already been ratioed. Like deleting it doesn't make it any better. So let me give you the details. Uh, he responded to the ratio by saying, "Quote: Tonight I tweeted a pic uh, of a Georgetown party hosted by Maureen Dowd, attended by Speaker Pelosi, Senator Schumer, and DC journos. In the old days, it would have been a benign." Big shot brag, no more. It was viciously ratioed by left and right. I deleted it. All establishments are hated. Yeah. Okay, so welcome to 2016. I'm sorry, so can we leave that up for a second? The graph. <laughs> He's talking about at Georgetown. Oh, I don't understand how Georgetown is seeing such a thing. This used to be a big shot brag, benign big shot brag. I deleted all establishments are hated. Now the, yeah. we know the tone he was taking in that, but instead there should have been like a realization tone behind it, like all establishments are hated. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm cuddling up with the wrong groups. Maybe I lost my way. Maybe I'm in a bubble and I have no idea how the rest of the country is running or what else is going on. Yeah. Maybe when I'm bragging about a party in Georgetown, hanging out with the speaker and and the head of the, of the Democrats in the Senate, maybe people don't like the things that they're doing, not just because. They happen to be uh, uh, politicians, but happen to be the things that they're pushing. People aren't for. It's, there's no realization. There's just how dare you guys get mad at me for being bougie? Yeah, that's yeah. all it was. It was viciously <laughs> racial. Oh it's so, Twitter, bro. It's Twitter, <laughs> exactly, exactly. And it, look, it happens. Like it, people have lapses in judgment. You know, I think I've been there. Um, and it is what it is. Uh, but the question is, the question he should ask himself, and I, I think he's too in this bubble to even realize it. It's not just that people hate establishments or the establishment. You're supposed to be a journalist. There are supposed to be journalists at that party. And so what a journalist is not supposed to be hobnobbing with the very people that he is supposed to hold, you know, accountable. Like you're supposed to do analysis and reporting on these people in positions of power, and if you're partying with them, as they do at the White House Correspondents Dinner and all that, that seeps into your reporting, right? Because you see them as your friends, you see them totally. as your buddies, you're partying with them, you're having martinis with them, hold the vermouth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, it, and look, we all we all know what it's like to have to tell a good friend the truth yes. about what you think about what they're doing. You're likely to lessen the blow or soften the blow, whatever it is. A journalist is supposed to speak truth to power. And right now we have this situation where we have false equivalencies in the media, equivocating, all this nonsense. And that photo kind of represented that, at least for me, that was the way that I saw it. And Adrian, I wanna hear your thoughts on it, but first let me tell you what the tweet said. Um, so the, the photo, he tweeted the photo, but it also included this. A Maureen Dowd party is always crowded. The action is outside her home. Speaker Pelosi arrived late, greeted by the hostess, ex uh, escorted in by Senator Schumer. The event was for Carl Hulss, nothing against the guy, right? Uh, Chief Washington correspondent for the New York Times, who has a book about Supreme Court nomination fights. Okay, it's just. Like it's not gonna connect with people in the way that it would connect for you or with you. It's just it's gonna rub people the wrong way. Anyway. No, you're absolutely right. And not to go back to a negative place, but this tweet was coming right off the heels of the Mueller hearing, where a lot of us as Americans watch various representatives sit and lie or grandstand and really not look for the truth itself. And so a lot of America's feeling extremely defeated. And for you to post this tweet and pretty much say, oh, we're just having a blast and a party here while the rest of you suffer. It's it's like, really, bro? You really didn't check the tone in the room. And then, of course, try to pretend you're the victim. And every establishment is hated. It's like, no, you just missed it. And you ain't looking to find it. You gotta sure. plan, you gotta plan things. Twitter is huge, obviously. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing as you going in front of a camera and saying something. It's from your face and your mouth, right? Um, so what did you expect? If you go on Twitter and you write something, what did you expect? Do you expect everyone to go, hmm? 
<laughs> was that the response you expect to get? Yo. Yo. What was it supposed to be? And then after you got racial, then you come back and go, man, they hurt my feelings. What do you expect now? You already got racial. They don't like you. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.